Oh my sweet lordy. We are 86 overall. How did we have that much of a jump? What were we when we started the season? We were like 81. We've had a crazy jump this season in, in overall rating. We're all, It's only November. <laughs> what? If our stats continue to improve and we play like this, our rating is probably going to be in the 90s before the season ends. This is insane growth. I haven't seen a growth spurt like this since I was about 12. All down the dressing room tunnel here at Little Caesars Arena. Back where it all began. Our first NHL win came in this building back in season one. Can we get another one? We've had a pretty decent year. I mean, the numbers, they're going to look better. Gorgiev has a 948. He's played only three games, but a 948. And he's playing in Detroit now. So the Rangers quickly offloaded him. We know where he ended up. This is going to be... Well, this is going to be a really interesting game. See if we can handle the Red Wings. This this is going to be in, important for us to outplay Gorgiev. That's going to be a real challenge from what I can tell. Zub gets it in. Zub the nub. He's moved on to Detroit. He was a... Uh, he was a member of the Senators, was he not? Blocked away by Raymond, uh, off of Raymond, the shot from Raymond, the shot from Zadina over the net. I don't know why I be, keep being given starts on the road, but I guess coach trusts me. That was a weird play. Can Stone do anything with the rebound? One timer off the outside of the net. Monaghan, two Red Wings in, off a of body. Cover back to this post. Behind the back from Zub. And a save off of, I'm not sure who, Bertuzzi. And now it's Bobby Ryan. I would assume that's Bobby Ryan, but it could be anyone with the last name Ryan. It could be Ryan Ryan for all we know. Man, I'll tell you what, Marit Cedar, that is going to be one really amazing NHL player for a long time to come. Uh, have your eyeballs on that kid. He's going to be amazing. That kid could legitimately win Norris trophies and Conn Smythe's. Detroit has a great future, man. I still can't believe that my first NHL win came in a pizza box. It's a terrible joke. It's a terrible joke. Stone is on side, though, and that's not a joke. Cedar with a pull-up shot over the net, man. Detroit have the accuracy of a stormtrooper right now. There's a save. That's not a... I thought that was going to be a surefire turnover. And it's flipped back in. It was deflected off a stick. Back to the point. Cedar to Larkin. Off. Oh my god, where are they shooting at? <laughs> the net is not in the stands. I am sorry to tell you. Shooting and he shot through the crease. Zub to Bertuzzi. The pull up. Bertuzzi with a rebound off of that shot and the save, but a penalty also coming up. And the player in question was Palat. He's pushing Palat on the other side where that rebound ended up. Someone rules the crease. Well, we don't know who rules the crease because you've got to put a name on it, you absolute dink. Power play in this game. That was not a very friendly, almost not a friendly di di redirection. Save on Palat. I like that save. Be tough because... Oh, that's... How was Benino the first guy to get to that? There's no way Benino should have been the first man to get to that. On a penalty kill. Look at this. Penalty kill for the win. McCann avoiding checks. And he... Where is it? Where is it? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, well, while we're waiting to go see that replay, that was an excellent save on Palat. Because when they can roll it out from the corner like that, it's so tough to make a save. It goes off the outside of the net, yes, first, then off the skate, and then it just kind of dies out on the goal line. But the puck is live. It's not covered. The referee shouldn't have lost sight of the puck. I mean, I can't tell you what that referee's eyeballs are seeing, but you should still be able to see, look very clearly. The puck is right there on the goal line. It's live. He hasn't covered it. Why would you blow that dead? Center. Oh, why is our shorthanded unit so good? This is the dying seconds of this power play, basically. Valeno, it's going to be a shot. Blocker save. Clear by Hamilton. Benino, second, dying seconds of the first period. Just misses it wide. Tried to stuff it home on the missed rebound off the inboards. And we did we just take a penalty? No penalty. That was very close to being a trip. It looked like he did get tripped up, but I think he just stumbled a little bit. And we're up one to nothing at the end of the first period of play. Wait, did we score? Or is it nothing, nothing? We scored, right? Well, despite the fact that I am an idiot and thought we had scored a goal in that period, we did not. And it is still a nothing to nothing game. 
but we've clearly been outplaying Detroit. It's reasonable to expect that we would have scored in that first period. Well, Raymond goes coast to coast with this. He just went from one end to the other and then airmailed it over the net. Don't let them walk this out. Here, 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 here. Go, go. One timer. Larkin just misses. Bringing it. Windmill to the outside and a save on Larkin. We'll play that for a little bit more. Bertuzzi just misses the net again. Over to Zub. Zub breaking it in. Oh my god, Bertuzzi, that's a cluster of a play. Oh, look, two on one. Dish it back. How do you screw that up? Shoot it, Stone. One-timer off the post. Now, there's a sh that's got to be a sh Why are you one-timing it from the freaking goal line, practically? Perron, probably another shot block. No, <laughs> just missing the net. We're copying Detroit on that one. Oh, he missed the net. Someone get there. Similar qualities. Yeah, that, well, that was too easy to read. Come on. Stolen by Cedar. The, the Red Wings, they might have a really good transition here. This is a great trend and cleared by Carlson. That's not a bad time to ice it, to be fair. I don't disagree with that. This has been a goaltender's duel, but a lot of the fault is that teams are not hitting the net or they're all getting blocked. So <laughs> that's what this game has come down to for the most part. Palat, drag move. We were very patient. Uh-oh. Bertuzzi still has it, though. Bertuzzi turned aside. Oh, yes. Oh! And that's why you stay with it. That's a big goal in this game. With neither team really creating much threatening offense in this game so far. Carlson gets the first one of the game. And he, he tr didn't really try to dangle. He just kind of lost it, but he stayed with it. That's just resiliency with the, with the puck. And then Gorgiev gets speed on the stick side. A tough one because it comes especially late in the second period. And, I mean, that could be a huge goal in this game. Just one could be a massive goal in this game. It's not like Gorgiev has played particularly poor either. He's played pretty well in this game. It's just we get a great bounce. And it's about time now wide with it. I don't know why Monahan's taking that shot. That's a weird ricochet. Everything is, is in favor of us. We have all the momentum now. In the dying seconds, Gorgiev is being taken to task, but he's held strong still at the very, very end. One more shot and blocked. I think it was blocked. At least a Red Wings player had an animation like he had blocked a shot. So we've stood tall, but really we haven't seen anything in this game. Final frame of play here in Detroit. We have put 20 on Gorgiev. Detroit's only put 10 on us so far. Uh, let's see how this third period unravels. Oh, uh, they are thinking about that. Are you freaking joking? Screw you, Eli O'Reilly. You don't deserve that goal. You never deserve that goal. That should have never beaten me. Are you kidding me? I have to respect that Larkin's there. That goes in. That's just like this mirrors the LA Kings game from season two, where we only let one beat us. We had a shutout on the books and the exact same play happened to me where it rolls in off the skate. I'm telling you, the AI, if they want to score, they will score. Hell for leather. They will score. They don't care. Well, it really sucks. I mean, we have complete control of this game and we get one right back. That feels great. But the first shutout was on the docket tonight. We had the first shutout. We, we could absolutely take this game with the shutout. I am 1,000% confident. And the only thing that's beaten me so far is a little dribbler that squeaks off my skate and in the net. I mean, this is just classic EA Sports NHL. I mean, it's just, I, it, I was really thinking we would have that first shutout in this game. So what we should have done is probably just done like this. If the game just wants the AI to score, the game is going to make the AI score. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be up to us to keep them off the score sheet the rest of this game. That's a bad turnover. That's a really bad turnover. Gorgiev, that was stupid to play that as well. He's got tips. For, he's taking tips from me. So I think we've seen 11 shots. I mean, they have a fair amount of time on the attack in this game. Uh, but we've only seen, I think, 11. And technically, the one that did beat me... Uh, is the 11th shot on net. That's it. Oh, that's a trip. That's me. I'm trying to get to the bench. I'm not going to get there in time, am I? Oh, I get there. Yes! Right as they touch it. Yeah, Palat went to block a shot and he tripped up uh, Petrangelo as he was following through. Oh, stolen by Valeno. Can we get here? Nope. You guys have to get that. Cleared and 
That one's going to end up in the corner and behind the net. I have it. Here you go. Don't turn it over right now. Behind the net with it is Monaghan. He tries to roll out a tough save for Gorgiev. Clifton will clear it. We have this. Go. Look at that. Perfect. That's why your goaltender plays it sometimes, though. We gotta get we gotta get off the off the net. Get back in the net. In the crease. Stone to March is up. Yeah! Mark Monahan! And I don't get the assist. I thought I might have an assist there, but I was busy trying to get back in the net. And we've taken a three to one lead. Sean Monahan, ninth of the year. Sean Monahan has nine, and it's November. Perfect feed as he's skating back door as well. It that's gonna be a tough save for Gorgiev to make. I mean, it's in motion and everything. The angle is constantly changing. And then he just rips it over the glove. Golden Knights up by two on the Monaghan power play goal. This team could be unstoppable. We should win the freaking Stanley Cup this year. Cedar shot by Cedar. And now a penalty coming up to the Golden Knights. And there's the touch. So from one power play to another, interference to Petrangelo. Are we dialed in now? We're not quite dialed in, are we? We haven't reached that 13 save mark. So we haven't got that perk yet. Now that might be close to being dialed in. Oh, oh wow, scrambling after it. Some amazing saves. Now Ryan played out of the zone. Where are we gonna see a Valeno shot, the rebound, but Nurse helps us out. Not really fooling us too much with that one. Raymond, plot. Oh my goodness. I think Theodore may have just completely saved a goal with that play. What is this? Is this the Theodore block? Yes, it is. Theodore, what a clutch defensive play. He probably single-handedly just saved a goal with that. No joke. So now we got Raymond. It's Luke Raymond, a shot off the pad. Now Dadanov, he just goes in the other way. Doesn't even care about the defense. He just goes right at two defenders. Carlson, oh, he missed it. That might help the Detroit breakout if we're not careful. Up to Bedard, so be ready for anything. Bedard trying a nifty pass, but Theodore played it well. He's in the neutral zone with it now. Over to Carlson, and a tough save for Gorgiev. It could have snuck past him. Down low, look out for that in front play. Oh, the rebound. Marchessault with a loose puck move. Now the stone off of the po off the blocker, not the post. Now Palat to Ber to Bedard. Bedard shooting. Are you freaking joking? Connor Bedard, you, you absolute gremlin. You had to score. Look at his, look at his teenage looking face. He looks like he's about 11. I got sniped on by an 11 year old. That should have never gone in. That should have never gone in. I, I really need to see this in instant replay. That is so, look at this. How in the hell does this go in? Oh my goodness. Well, if you want to see something ridiculous, Connor Bedard with just a lucky goal. I mean, I'll say it. That is, it's well-placed, I guess. Could you say that's well-placed? But we're there. Look at that. We're square. We're pretty much square. Maybe we're a touch off. We're not perfect. Maybe we're not perfectly square. I mean, if it beats us, we're not perfectly square. But you, there's no reason that we can't get a save. Why is his glove in so tight? Look at how close this is to being a save. We're there. Well, not only does that hurt the save percentage, which was going to look pretty decent for once, but well, that also brings the Red Wings back into this game. I thought I was going to be in the net. That is a huge break. Oh my god, what are you guys doing with it in the final seconds? Oh, we pull out a win out of our ass cheeks. That is a crazy win. We should have gotten scored on in the dying seconds, but I got some defensive help. And we can start start to calm our heart our ugh. and we can finally start to calm our heart rates after that stupid game. That could have finished absolutely heartbreakingly. Oh we were so close to greatness. So close to greatness. We could have had we could have had a 900 save percentage. We could have had a shutout. We could, we won the game. We did win the game. Okay, well we well, I'll take that. We won the game. We could have had a shutout though. This was a very reasonable game to have a shutout. I mean, you could, we should have stopped the, the Bedard shot at the very end, we should have saved that. That really brought the save percentage just under 900. That really pisses me off. And then 
the goal that beat us to break the shutout, it was a dribbler off the skate. We had that one in the bag. Come on. You know it's coming. It's it's very we're so close. We are inch close. I like your confidence, but don't get too cocky. You're here to help the team, not show off to the world. Uh, I can do both, coach. I can do both. I, kn I know it. I can do both. Multitasker. He's a multitasker. You know why he's bouncing back to me? Look at it. 7-5 loss to Dallas. That's why I'm in the net. I play this game against Florida, and we win. I play this game against Detroit, and we win. I play this game against Buffalo, and we win. And those are my last three games. And what did we play before that? We played Vancouver. We lost 4-2. to Three wins in a row. We're rolling hot. You got to roll the hot hand. And Laner, or whoever's playing in the in a Vegas net alongside us, I'm assuming it's Laner. He's lost to Dallas, lost to Philly. Now, yes, he did win these two, and they were big wins. But this is why you roll with me. You got to roll the hot hand. Well, it feels good to be back inside the fortress. It's been a little while since we were at home. We've been starting the last three games on the road, and we are rolling hot into this game with a three-game win streak. I love the sock design on those pads, by the way. Uh, we're rolling into this game with a three-game win streak. We've been looking really hot. The save percentage is just slowly going right back up there. Do it. Can we get our fourth in a row? It's what's on the table tonight. And Levy over the line, dishes off. And no shot from the Blackhawks there. It'd be nice to get one at home. I don't think we've won a game at home. Have all of our wins come on the road this season? Gaudreau, he gets chunked. And now he's pushed around again. Uh, and he misses the net there. Don't know why there isn't a shot. That's an excellent save. That is one of the best saves we've made in a long time. So Carlson digs it back out and snipes it. He also absolutely crushed the water bottle off the top of the net so cal peterson you're gonna need a new one of those a great effort from carlson he stays with it after creating the turnover and just turns around and fires and to be fair to peterson that's gonna be a tough save to make it's pretty pretty quick that enough pulls up and shoots at peterson and a save yes anticipating save kick face off win and the puck is loose carlson looking for number two there to brincat Across the blue line, loose puck deek, and Goudreau off the post. So I think I just barely took the angle away from Goudreau to have the post help me out. That was a nifty between the legs uh, little pass down low. Go the Golden Knights, they are nifty drop passing it. So creative. Creative art students out here. Debrincat also trying to show what he can do. And oh, look at that. Flashing leather, showing off. Debrincat, not today. Oh, off a of body. It goes wide. Someone get to it. It's like when Stone used to score every time we play. I don't have that. That's fine. Hamilton does. Oh, my God. Dougie, please. Not when I'm outside the crease. Oh, yeah. I knew that one time it was coming. So, Gaudreau. Yes. Anticipating. Face off one back to our defenseman. A blocker save by Peterson. He's probably just going to skate in and shoot. Yep. Pretty routine there. Carlson. And he's been tripped. That's going to be a penalty. I'm going to the bench. Get that extra man ready. Get him greased up. Okay, uh, you, know, you can stop greasing him up now. Well, it's nice to see some variety. We see a tripping penalty. And, I mean, there isn't an easier call to make. That's as straightforward as they get. You will leave me. I'm surprised. He finally gets it out. Where the hell is it going? I couldn't even see it. I lost it. Don't play that. You play that, Dougie. I'm not playing it. That and off. Just ripping one off the leg of Ewell Levy, and he clears this one. We're going to be able to get to this one. We know exactly where... Okay, well, we won't be able to get to that one. We got to improve the speed outside the crease. It did get cleared. I just... I keep losing it. That's the only disadvantage to this camera angle, and I couldn't even play it when it got behind the net. Nope, Perron stole it, and he scores. David Perron! I missed it because I was expecting a clear, and so I changed the camera back, but hey, you're going to see it in a second. Well, to satisfy your eyeballs, here's the replay. He was going to clear it, and Perron creates a turnover, and then he just jams it home. I don't think Peterson was expecting that. That was a very quick, sudden turnaround shot, point blank, off of an instant turnover uh, zone entry. Here comes Goudreau. I would expect a shot. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that was a good time to give that type of rebound out. If you're ever going to do that, 
right at the tail end of the period. Middle frame is underway, and Vegas has been in complete control of this game, playing way better than Chicago has. The good vibes are rolling. That's a penalty? I, okay, I was not expecting that to be a penalty. It didn't look like a trip, but apparently it is. I'm trying to get to the bench. We're there. Grease up that extra man now. Oh, you don't even have to. Marcheseau with the extra attacker scores. This game is looking like it could be all but over early. Marcheseau with the extra man on the delayed penalty. One-timer. Feel bad for Peterson. He's not had an easy night. And then Marcheseau bumps him in the head with the elbow as well afterwards. Not intentional. He would not intentionally do something like that. Well, it's a rough going for the Blackhawks. They start the period on the wrong foot. And they're down three goals now. It's not an insurmountable challenge, but it's already a big hole to start with. I don't know. Who's Goudreau dropping that puck off to? Dumped in by Jones. I wasn't expecting a dump in. I wasn't really looking for the dump in there. Dumped in. This is my time to shine. Yes, it is. All right, who we got? Who we got? Who wants it? Go deep, go long. Okay, that's long enough. Petrangelo with a net, with a net front drive. Yes, backdoor net front drive. Down the low to Monahan, and he, Monahan is taken to task by 24. I don't know who 24 is, but he took Monahan down. But it's a turnover anyway. Perron trying to snipe it on the blocker side, and Sutter's taken off of it. Timoshov off a of body. I didn't even realize Timoshov had it. So much action right now. This guy's so dangerous. Debrincat in the middle, a little backhand floater. Yep, right in the bread basket. Debrincat is wide, and we're probably just going to let him pull up and shoot. We've got the cover. And they, they tried to run Doc over. It didn't work. They tried to run over Kirby Doc. Oh, wow. We, they just ran out of net. We create a great turnover. That's a bad turnover. Gaudreau. I think it went five hole. That's a pretty weak one. We were just asking for that one to get in. We were, we, yeah. I, I, that shouldn't beat me, but it was bound to happen. It just sucks that that's the shot that beats us. Well, this doesn't handcuff us, I would say. I mean, we just don't drop in the butterfly. It hits the pad as we're beginning to drop. And then as, as we drop, it hits the inside of the pad and it bounces five hole into the net. That's a tough break. It's just... It's just a tough break. That's all it is. When just like that, the shutout is snapped by the Blackhawks. Johnny Gaudreau off of a tough turnover for the Golden Knights to give up. And now Kubelik, he's going to draw a slashing penalty. Yep, it's a slashing penalty. Oh, oh, they fork it wide. Wow. An excellent feed to Strom. And then Strom. No, 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 no. You are not beating me with that one. Oh, you want to talk about burning your cheeks? Your cheeks are absolutely toasted on that save, Gaudreau. You're not scoring on that one. They're going to run out of time here. Is this Gaudreau? No, it's the Cat. Please get it out. Penalty kill. That is, I was expecting that. Siegenthaler picking me up on that great defensive play. Chicago, they're pretty relentless. I'll give them this. They're fast and they're getting these quick little breakout rush plays going. Dying seconds of the second period. Sean Monahan shooting and sniping it. Man, you can count on this guy to score big goals. And we're back up by two again, aren't we? It's three to one now, right? Tenth of the year for Sean Monahan. A perfectly placed shot over the blocker side. And the Golden Knights increase their lead. So actually, it's four to one, not three to one. And it's a three-goal lead that has been restored as well. Were we not up three to nothing? Either way, uh, a pretty good period. The only th blemish on our night is the Johnny Goudreau goal that just snuck off of our pad and in. We're opening this third period up four to one. Sean Monahan scoring the latest goal for the Golden Knights. We have outplayed Chicago in this game, I would say, quite handily. I mean, the scoreboard definitely indicates that. A weird floaty backhander. And then in front, the Brincat just wide. Oh, we couldn't recover to the post in time. And Gaudreau has his second in this game. It's kind of a lucky... It's kind of a lucky bounce off the miss. And then a great feed to Gaudreau on the back door. And that's not going to help the save percentage. With as few shots 
Yeah, okay, so it wasn't actually a pass. It was just the missed shot. Was it Was it not? Hold on, am I remembering this play incorrectly? It was a missed shot. Yeah, off the end boards, and we have to get back to the post. We almost... No, nah, no, nah, we don't really get back in time. We never had a chance on that one. Johnny Gaudreau, he's been gifted two goals in this game, really. He's, he's gotten two great bounces. That's just the way she goes sometimes. Kirby Dock off of a body. It, none of this is going to help me look very good on the save percentage. It's just killing the save percentage. Carlson off of that point guy. And what in the world kind of floater shot was that? Oh, my God. That was Goudreau as well. He, man, he is searching for every opportunity to score in this game. Pull-up shot. Yep, we got it. Right in our glove, we'll play it. And then download him on hand. Stone, it just rolls off of the uh, outside the crease just wide. And then backdoor fed to David Perron. His second in the game as well. And the Golden Knights just keep restoring their lead. The advantage is three goals again. Well, you can never doubt this team. We just keep piling right back on. Anytime it seems like Chicago has a chance to get back in this game, we just put another one right past Peterson. It's been a night to forget for him. But hey, I've been there before. Been there, done that. I know what this these kind of nights feel like. Well, this game, it could be all but over. I mean, 5-2 lead, 3-goal cushion. All we got to do is just relax in our game in our net. And across to Timoshov. That might be a shot for Timoshov. Inside out move. We get the nice save on Timoshov. Nurse to Dadanov. Dadanov stick save by... Brings it all the way the other way and dumps it in. We'll be able to play this. And we'll just go right out the into the bench. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you guys were awake over there. Berchi. Sven Berchi, man. I forgot about this guy. Wasn't he a Canuck? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's Strump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me props. Give me props. And now Stone of flip on the net. And another save. That might be the end of the Gaudreau line. So we need one more shot on net, and that one flips up. And somehow it doesn't go in. Debrencat from outside. Rest in peace chance of 900 save percentage. My god. We let Alex Debrencat freaking snipe that. And here's your answer as to why this goes in. I mean, what angle are we playing here? I mean, we're not playing any angle. That's... Okay, you want to see this? This is essentially what the puck is seeing. This is basically what the puck is seeing. I don't know why we're playing this, because this is not the appropriate angle. Look at all that net blocker side. It's not a surprise that this beat us. I mean, I, I, this is not the exact angle the puck's seeing, but basically, that's what he has to shoot at. Sometimes you just get a shot that you know is going to be on net, and you just way overthink it and way overplay it. You just have a galaxy brain moment, and that's all that was for me. A stupid galaxy brain moment. The Bren Cat, shoot it. Just shoot it. There's a save. Thank you. I can stop that to Brincat chance. Off the post. They fork it off the post. Jones to Brincat. Another save. At least we might salvage some save percentage with that. We get the win. The most important aspect of it. We almost completely bend our save percentage. We may have still bend our save percentage. What am I talking about? It's, it's got to be sub 900. I think two goals on 20 is an exact 900. So it's going to be a shade under that. Yeah, it's it's a save percentage that is just about average but it's tough because a three goals is not you don't want to let in really more than two too often it seems like three has been about the average for the season we've let in about three on average three on 22 is not a great number that save percentage isn't excellent i mean a, a couple tough bounces in this game that that uh, did beat me. Both Goudreau goals were tough bounces. And then to Cat's absolute snipe. We were just off angle. Uh, now to come to think of it, both of Chicago's small, skilled guys scored on us. I mean, if it's going to be anyone scoring, uh, those two guys, I'm fine with them scoring on me. I just hate giving up the three goals. We should have had a 900 save percentage in this game. It was there to be had. But hey, the big part, the big takeaway is We've just won, what is that, our fourth win in a row? We lost that game. It was a tough game. We lost 4-2. to two. But we came back and started in Buffalo, and we won. Start of a stretch here. We played in Buffalo, won that game. Then in Florida, won that game. And then we went to Detroit, won that game three in a row. And we've won four in a row after playing our uh, get, playing a home game in, against Chicago, and I think that was our first home win of the season, is it not?